Yo, what's up, everyone? Just taking welcome back to another video. Today, I'm actually going to be showing you my top five tips on how to make it on YouTube in 2017. So I'm doing this for all of the new people on YouTube. Maybe you just created your channel, you're looking to grow. If you're one of those people, I really recommend you watch this video because I'm going to be teaching you my top five tips on how to grow on YouTube in 2017. So yeah, let's go. Oh, and just quick disclaimer: I'm not saying I'm, I know exactly everything. Like I know how to grow on YouTube. This, these are just like my personal tips that have worked for me in the past so yeah enjoy all right so tip one is actually really important you need to get an upload schedule uh, and at least try to upload consistently now this is really important guys because by doing this you're letting your viewers know exactly when you're gonna upload so that they can tune in to your channel and see your new video at an exact time as a content creator it is very important to let your viewers know when you are posting and um, this will eventually get you more views since they're gonna know exactly when your video is gonna go up and they're gonna watch your video and I really just can't stress that enough like how important it is to actually have like a distinctive pattern in your uploads and to just have an upload schedule in general it it really helps it really does and that kind of brings me over to tip number two which is try to keep a pattern this is so that your viewers know what they're getting when they actually subscribe to you this is including thumbnails as well now I'm gonna explain what I mean by that in a minute but first let's go through the obvious stuff now by obvious I mean like the games you play or like the sort of content you make. You're pretty much gonna wanna keep a pattern of some sort um, and you're not gonna wanna like upload just random stuff every video. Cause that will get your viewers confused uh, on what you're really trying to upload here on YouTube. And I guess what I'm trying to say here is that you need to base your channel around something so that your viewers know what they're getting pretty much. For example I try to base my channel around Call of Duty. And yes, I sometimes make other videos and play other games, but I still try to keep a baseline of just Call of Duty content, which is the important thing here, really. Just try to keep a baseline, um, you know, and kind of surround what you're doing. And um, hopefully that should work out for you. Now, regarding the thumbnails, there's actually a little trick you can do to um, patterize your thumbnails, I guess. So pretty much what you do is uh, you're going to want to put like maybe like a watermark in, in the bottom left corner, for example. Or just try to come up with like some special thing that you do in your thumbnails. Um, but you gotta put these in like every thumbnail. So for example, we got Vanus Gaming. He puts this like rainbow background um, in a thumbnail, which you know that's a pattern because he does that in like every thumbnail. You know that's that's his thing. So if you understand what I mean here, uh, just pretty much just find your thing, make it a pattern uh, in your thumbnails, and people will hopefully click on it. Now personally, I haven't actually gotten around to doing this yet. Uh, I think I might actually start doing it. I don't know, we'll see. Now there's also one other way to patterize your channel. Uh, that is by associating like a color with your channel. Maybe two colors. For example, I got my uh, black and red. Uh, you know, it's on my banner. And therefore, it's, you know, kind of like my colors. And I'm sure you've seen like other YouTubers. They got their own colors. So yeah, that's also a way of patterizing your channel. Which is uh, pretty nice. Alright, so moving on to number three. Uh, we got use cards and end screens in your videos. Now you may not think that this is very important, but believe me, this is actually really important. Cards and end screens are actually a way uh, for the person that's watching your video to um, maybe watch another video of yours, uh, doing so by clicking on a card. And when the viewer clicks on this card, it'll automatically redirect uh, them to the other video that the card's, you know, representing. And as a content creator, you really want uh, the person watching your videos to stay on your channel for like a longer duration. You want this person to watch more of your videos so that you can get more views. Now, cards and end screens are actually a really good way of making the viewer actually watch more of your videos. So I really recommend using them. I use them all the time in like every video. And on top of that, they actually look really professional. So that's nice. All right, so now we're on tip number four, which is interact with your viewers in the comment section and on other platforms. Viewer interaction is one of the most important things you can do as a content creator. You gotta always make sure that you're interacting with the people that comment on your videos and your subscribers because you gotta make them feel like they're being seen by you. And I think that's what makes it fun um, to actually watch a video and see that you're being seen by the, the person who actually created the video. Feeling like you've got, you know, you matter, kinda. So I personally always try to like reply to comments and at least like give them a thumbs up if I feel like they're good comments. Um, and um, yeah, I think that's really important, you know, to make viewers feel like they're being seen by you and feel like they matter. 
and this doesn't always have to be on YouTube, you know, this can be on like Twitter or Reddit or whatever. Um, bottom line, just interact with the viewers and they'll be thankful. Now, how does this profit me, you may wonder. So pretty much, if the viewers feel like they're being seen and they like you, they're gonna stick around on your channel and, you know, they're, they're gonna wanna get more responses from you and they're gonna comment on more videos and you're gonna get more views. So that's how it profits you, pretty much. So, uh, yeah. Alright, so now we're at the last tip, and it's tip number five, which is care about the details. The details are what makes the whole experience. This, of course, involves quality uh, and, and stuff as well. Attention to detail and quality is really what makes the whole thing stick together. If you want to make it on YouTube nowadays, you really gotta care about the details and the quality of the videos you make. You're not gonna make it if you're not willing to put in hard work for the videos you make. I guess that's what I'm trying to say here. And by details, I mean like maybe, you know, like the card thing. You you actually take your time and put in those cards in the videos. Uh, you like, you maybe you make playlists and you customize your old channel layout and do the about page and everything. It's those little things that just makes it seem like way more professional than if you wouldn't do them at all. So I hope you all understand what I mean by that. Now I do actually have one more tip. Uh, that is far more important than any of the other ones that I've mentioned earlier. This is the most important thing you can do while actually pursuing YouTube. You can never forget this. It's to have fun. And it might sound really cliche, but I do actually think that in the end, it's all about just having fun and doing what you love. Because uh, I feel like you can never lose if you, if you do what you love, pretty much. So bottom line, if you're having fun, and you're doing what you love, then you're gonna wanna put more time into it, and you can never lose if you have fun. So, in that sense, you've succeeded if you have fun, pretty much. Nice. All right, guys, I think that's gonna be pretty much it for today, guys. Um, I think I've said most of what I wanted to say in this video. I hope you guys all really like this supportive video, you know, helping the new people out on YouTube. Um, kind of a different video, but I think I needed to make a video like this uh, sooner or later. Uh, it's been in my mind for a while now, and I, yeah, it really feels good to have it out finally. And, um, yeah, I think that's been pretty much it, guys. Uh, it has been your boy Race Tech, and I'm out, and I will see you in another video next week. Peace, peace. Oh, and please be sure to like the video and subscribe. Let's go for 10 likes, and, uh, yeah, I will see you guys later. Peace, peace.